Did scientists just discover a new continent? Is Earth's crust breaking up differently than we thought? And how it is going to affect the geography, the climate science and plate tectonics? What if I told you Earth has a hidden continent? Not beneath forest, not beneath desert, but beneath the icy ocean waters near Greenland. And this recent scientific discovery is forcing geologists to rewrite the rules of plate tectonics. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi's Flash News. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to talk about this continent that has been found. What are the things that are forcing the geologists to rewrite the rule of plate tectonics? How it is different? And what are the things that have come to the fore? So let us start with understanding that what exactly is the discovery. So scientists as of now, they have clearly confirmed that near the Davis Strait, they have confirmed the presence of a continental crust. Now just beneath this Davis Strait, this is Greenland. And here in the strait, beneath this, we have found a fragment of continental crust. And this is important because this is a proto-micro continent. That means it has a continental type crust. It is submerged below the ocean and it has survived intact for tens of millions of years. Now this has been published, this research has been published in the Gondwana research and the reason this is challenging the classic methods of continental breakups is whenever we get to see plates breaking apart, we find continental crust to go thinning giving way to the oceanic crust. But in this scenario, this fragment of continental crust has survived and stayed intact for tens and millions of years. So that is why this is a discovery that is changing that how plate tectonics work and how a formation of oceanic crust or ocean takes place. Now this clearly shows that continents can fragment and there will be no fully turning into oceanic crust. There lies a possibility in between which has been shown by this particular proto micro continent. Now let us understand more about this starting with understanding that what exactly is a continental crust and what exactly is an oceanic crust. So if we are talking about crusts, so whenever we see continental crust and oceanic crust, you will always find that the thickness of continental crust is more. That means they might be ranging from 30 kilometers to 70 kilometers and they are comparatively less dense. That means they are light, buoyant and they form land masses. But when we are talking about oceanic crust, their thickness is comparatively way lesser than the continental crust, ranging somewhere between 5 to 12 kilometers and they are more denser. That means they are not light, their density is higher and they are usually basaltic. So whenever we talk about continental crust and uh, oceanic crust, if you will remember, we referred to the continental crust as Sial layer and we also talked about oceanic crust as Sima layer. Sial is silica and aluminium and Sima is silica and magnesium. Now, when we talk about this particular anomaly that has been seen in Davis Strait, how it started, how the investigation started was the fact when we looked into the crust there that lies just beneath the Davis Strait, the crust was somewhere between 20 to 25 kilometers. That means this is not an oceanic crust. Another thing that was found that the composition that I just talked about that resembled more continental crust as compared to the oceanic crust and this contradiction was the starting point of the investigation and the research that has resulted in figuring out this whole proto micro continent. Now that we are clear with oceanic crust, continental crust and how this investigation started, now let us move to understand that what has been the geological history behind it, basically how it came to be around, how it was formed. So this started back 61 million years ago. This was the time when Greenland started separating from the North American continent. So if you talk about the North American continent and you find Greenland here, this started separating 
and the movement was oblique as you get to see northeastern southwestern plate motion this is where we saw the formation of labrador sea in between and also the baffin bay that is why when greenland moved away from the north american plate that's when we saw the formation of labrador sea and also the baffin bay later later around 56 million years ago we got to see that the plate motion which was initially northeast to southwest that means it was moving in this direction it immediately changed to north south and it also generated transpressional stress that means let's just say this is the plate and there was compression also and there was a lot of shear as well which led to horizontal shortening and vertical elongation that was seen and that is when the block of continental crust because of this transpressional stress we saw this continental crust instead of thinning that we have understood in the standard models of plate tectonics it did not thin out rather it thickened and it remained submerged as a micro continent now as we can see in the diagram as i explained that this is the place that was created baffin bay and also labrador sea when greenland started to move away from the north american continent and this is the exact place where we have found this proto micro continent now when we are talking about davis strait and the anomaly that has been seen here this was not only exceptional in terms of continental crust davis strait for geologist has always been special in multiple terms let us look into that so when we are talking about the usual tectonic zones davis strait was free from any intense volcanism whenever you get to see oceanic plate and a continental plate coming towards each other that means forming a convergent boundary that is where a subduction zone is created even if that's not the scenario continental plate and continental plate they are coming towards each other and we can see the creation of fold mountains and because of the tectonism present there we also see volcanism exception in this case is himalayas but if you see other scenarios you will find volcanism and this particular plate was largely undisturbed by later plate collisions and it was comparatively labeled as a geologically clean corridor and that is why this served as a natural laboratory because it allowed to understand the clear reconstruction that how plate motion can change what are the stress regimes what are the types that can exist there and what is the crustal deformation process and anomaly to it as well Now the question that must be in your mind that if this proto micro continent existed how exactly did we get the confirmation through this particular research so when we are talking about this micro continent this micro continent was detected through certain methods such as understanding the mapping of gravity anomaly that means where the low density continental crust is existing identifying that other than that seismic imaging which measured the crustal thickness and where the faulting is present and also the plate reconstruction models were used to rewind the tectonic movements that how plates would have moved over the years and they also brought in the method of drilling and sediment data which confirmed that deformation during bake up phase how it happened so there was no single method but multiple methods which gave a converging evidence proved this particular case that there is existence of a proto micro continent which is present just beneath the davis strait now when we are talking about this proto micro continent this does not only impact the study of plate tectonics it has huge impact on climate as well deep earth as well and also when we are talking about cryosphere when we are talking about deep earth we basically understand the three main layers the crust the mantle and the core when we are talking about greenland itself there was a time when it crossed over the iceland mantle hot spot and this hot mantle was the reason that it softened the lithosphere which was present and that is why that could be another reason that we did not see the usual crustal break up that we get to see with continents
Now the climate dimension that I was talking about, it is this thickness of the crust that controls the heat flow from deep earth. If the heat flow would have, if the crust would have been less thick, then the heat flow would have been higher, then the ice sheets would have, have been affected, the basal ice melting would have taken place and glacier movements would have been affected. But it is this thick continental crust that ensures all of this and actually helps the stability of ice, glacier movement and the sheets across Greenland. So this continental crust will also help in understanding the cryosphere which is present, the deep earth models which are present and the impact of this cryosphere uh, in terms of climate and also the climate change in itself. Now this discovery is something new that has been brought. It highlights that how complex the earth is, its formation is and the processes that are run along. Even after knowing so much, there remains so much to learn and understand. This comes in addition to the theory of plate tectonics that you guys can use as a case study. That was all from my side. Now I will be leaving you with a practice question here. This is the question for you in terms of two lists where you have to match the list. The code is given here and you can put down your answers in the comment section. That was all from my side. Thank you so much.